Hi, I'm Miss Bradley. This is Ward Elementary, and this is my fourth grade class. Today we'll be talking about place value. So we're starting with our number talk. Look at the number. We're not saying it out loud yet. Think anything you know about the number. You have one minute first at your desk to talk to people at your table. Share anything you know about this number, especially if you can read it out loud. Turn and talk first. You have one minute. Donovan, talk to Elijah. Point three. What do you think a point four? Oh, okay. Okay. Are you saying something? Okay. Okay. Five, four, three, two. One, you should be at a zero. Okay, we just started this yesterday, so the first one honestly is a challenge. Raise your hand if you think you can read this whole number aloud. <laughs> okay, Jolie. Good job. She made sure to stop at the commas and say the place value. Um, so she knew, raise your hand if you can tell me what is the place value of the two. What do we call that spot? There's so many hands. Rylan. Millions. Good job. This is the millions. So she knew to read 432. She stopped at the comma and said millions. Then she stopped at the eight. Raise your hand if you can remind us the name of that spot. Gavin. Thousands. Yep, you got it. Thousands. And then she even knew to stop after this, but she did not say the name of the spot because there is no comma, but raise your hand if you can tell me the name of this spot, Josiah. The ones place. Yeah, the ones, good job. Okay. Who can tell me a number less than, any number less than this number? Raise your hand. Lexi. Two million. Good job. Two million is less than anything in the four millions. Raise your hand if you can tell me a number greater than. Mona Lisa. Five million. Five million, good job. Five million is greater than anything in the four millions. Who can tell me if it's even or odd? Raise your hand if you know if it's even or odd. Raleigh. Odd because five is an odd number. Good job, it's odd because he looked at the one spot, he saw the five, five is an odd number. Okay, I'll take two more comments. What else do you know about this number? Hank. Um, it, it, it's nine oh, great job. Yesterday we talked about digits. Digits is every place value spot. He counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It is a nine digit number. Last comment for right now. Sorry if I don't choose you. Mason. Um, that. <laughs> Do you want? Okay, that's okay. Elijah. It has two commas. True. It does have two commas. Okay. We'll end that there. Okay, today we are going to be doing an activity where you get to work in your groups on place value, and we're focusing mostly on being able to write your nine digit numbers in different forms. So we did it yesterday. Raise your hand if you can name one form we practiced yesterday. There's three different ones. Who can name only one? Elliot. Um, expanded form. Expanded form. Good job. Who can name another one? Christian. Word form. Word form. Who can name the last one? Regina. Standard form. Ex which one did you say? Standard form. Standard form. Okay. I already had it open. So in a minute, you will be in small groups practicing writing in those different forms. I'm showing you on the board, you're gonna have a piece of paper. Okay, you just go. Um, you will be given this paper for your group. You have one paper per group. Can the questions wait until I'm done explaining? It will be on a clipboard. You will sit with your group in a circle. So there'll be three or four of you. You will be sitting on the ground with one clipboard. You will also need a pencil when you go to your group. You will be taking turns writing these numbers in standard form. They are currently in either, what's this form? Expanded form. 
Expanded form, good job. It's all of the place values spread out and added together. Or it's already in what form? Word, word, word or written form. You need to change them to be in standard form. You will be taking turns. So if my group is me, Lexi, and Regina, I will look at the clipboard, write one in standard form, pass it to Lexi. She will write one in standard form and pass it to Regina. Regina will write one in standard form and pass it to me. If I get it back to me and I see one that is wrong, I can choose to either correct one that is wrong, so I'll cross it out and write what I think the answer is, or I can solve a new one if I think they all look good or I don't feel like fixing somebody's. You will have five minutes with your group to try to finish them. If you finish all of them early, congrats. If you don't finish all of them in time, it's OK. When we're done with all three rounds, I will just see which group has the most points, the most that are correct. So you do want to be making sure other people's are right, because if someone keeps putting in 100, 100, 100, 100, and you're not fixing it and saying, that's not even what we're doing, then you're not going to get the points. So you need to either be correcting or writing a new one. We will do it one time where you're writing them all in standard form. We will do it one time where you have to change them all to be in expanded form. And then I know you don't like it, so I only made it two rows. We will be doing it one time where you have to write them in words. I know, but it's only six. So you are sitting with your group. I will put a five minute timer. At the end of the five minute timer, I need one person from your group to bring me the clipboard and I will give you the next round. You don't know your groups yet, so there's no point in talking about it. If you finish early, you should be checking them to make sure that you really have them all correct. Because the last thing you want is to be sitting there for two minutes talking about TV shows when one of them is wrong and you missed a point. OK, I have six groups, and I have 21 people. Raise your hand if you can tell me how many people are going to need to be in each group. I have 21 students, and I have six groups. How many people will be in each group? Carson? Four. Good job, three or four. Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. OK, I'm going to call your group, and I'm going to tell you where to sit. The first person I call is in charge of the clipboard. Everyone is in charge of their own pencil. So first person I call, get the clipboard. Mason, Regina, Mona Lisa, you'll be right here. Mason, Regina, Mona Lisa. Josiah, Nevaeh, Donovan, and Hank. You will be near Hank's desk. You will be near Hank's desk. Devin, Lexi, Alejandro, Gavin. You don't need to write anything yet. Devin, Lexi, Alejandro, Gavin, you'll be sitting over there by the bookshelf. You are writing one and passing it. You are not allowed to write as many as you know. You cannot just write four because you know four of them. You write one, you pass it. You can tell your group and help your group, but each person is taking turns writing one. If you finish early, are you going to stand up and scream, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done? No. No, you need to check your work. Because standard form, you might be quick enough for five minutes. Expanded and word are going to take you longer. So use this time to make sure you're getting all of them right. Are there any questions before we start? No. Regina? Do we write our names on it too? You don't need to write your names on it because we'll just give you the same color again. Okay, when the timer goes off, you must stop writing. Ready, set, go. Guys, I. I have a desk. You can choose anyone you want, you don't have to go in order. I I mean, like.
7,000. You can't write it for him, but you can keep telling him. Keep telling him what you think. Can you explain why? Maybe that will help him. Oh, you guys are psycho. Oh, you guys might be in first place right now with the most done. She's the boss of the booth, so she's a girl. Be quiet. Remember, you can help your teammates. You're reminding yourself of pals. You're seven. Yeah, you're seven. Yeah, you're seven. Remember, you can help your teammates. You're reminding yourself of pals. You're seven. Yeah, 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 you there's thousand places, no ten thousand. So you put a zero there, and then you put one here, and then five here. Great job! Wow. Your time is halfway done. I would start checking them, especially the longer ones. On your turn, check one, especially the ones with nine digits. Anyone on your turn, check a nine-digit one. Make sure it's right. Remember, you can help each other, so if you're confused, you can ask for help. If they see a mistake, they can tell you about it. Thanks for watching our math class. Go Bulls! Bye!